Okay, I'm doing a what is called overview of process. <clears throat> Why? Because human beings that are new to the situation of what it is that we're doing are probably not able to pinpoint what we're doing because what we're communicating about, what we're writing about is just everything. And it's like if you if you look at everything else in the world there's a specific point, you know, that you can grasp in terms of what it is that they're doing, but <clears throat> they're not finding it so simple with us. So what I'll be doing is I'll give an overview of the specificity of what it is that we're doing because you can't grasp a point just because that point is the entirety of ourselves and what we're expressing. Okay, let's start at the following. What is known and what is understood is the following. Man was created by the Anunnaki to be slaves here on earth. The, the human race became Anu slaves from the perspective of his creation to one day return to earth to exist infinitely as the human race in the image and likeness of himself. He created then the dimensions as well, which is the transference of the reincarnation of dimensional beings into human beings continuously so that he may infinitely exist within and as his creation, as this human form and the world except that he deemed it his creation. Um, well, he was in control of everything, literally. The dimensions, earth, everything. Until up to ten years ago, of course. Uh, ten years ago, um, earth and his creation became so manifest that he himself became... Um, he got locked out of his own creation, literally. So he had only power in the dimensions. He had limited access to earth only enough to do what was necessary to be done. Um, then some beings amalgamated themselves with the entire consciousness existence of this world. In other words, in the mind consciousness systems of human beings, um, of all of humanity, which then created basically the unconscious mind, which is, which is dimensional beings existing within and as his existence controlling it, because I didn't have access. So that's what they did. Um, but then, of course, the systems themselves, from that perspective, became alive, meaning existent. They're able to exist by themselves because they're programmed to exist according to a set program, and then all they do is they just continue. <clears throat> um, but unfortunately, programs are only able to be programmed to that extent. You know, have a look at your world; it's busy destructing very beautifully um, because human beings as mind consciousness systems are deteriorating and so you, your world is deteriorating. I know this point has been mentioned as well, but if you look at the deterioration point, you can see it in the educational system of the children. It's deteriorating. It's up to shit. And if the children's education is up to shit, your world will be up to shit. It is a simple equation. And that's already what's happening. <clears throat> what is the saying that's always used? Um, the world has never been what it has before. You know, it's interesting. Okay, so, um, what else? So that's basically what happened with the world. Um, now, what are we doing here? Is what I was the question. Okay, so one day, uh, this girl whose body this is, ended up in the dimensions, literally, completely. Left her body, got into the dimensions, completely aware, and a demon came through her and spoke to her. She basically said that, she felt a being wanted to come through, and the only common sense was that she had to go out of her body for the demon to come through. That's what she, what she knew. The being wanted to come through, and she had to go out, because that's what happens. So she goes out. The first time ever, she gets into the dimensions. From there, heaven changed completely. Why? Because she was the first human being to actually see the dimensions in its entirety, the truth of the extent of the nature of heaven at that time, under Anna's enslavement, started coming out over the past two years. Don't worry, still found deception existing in heaven after all that. It's like that inherent nature within existence of deception. Um, so we've been all that basically these human beings found in heaven was deception. Deception, deception, deception. Layers, layers, layers. Because they presumed that, because they started assisting demons only assisting demons, and then um, <clears throat> from assisting demons it went further to communicating with dimensional beings. And they, all they wanted to do was assist humanity. That was their starting point, assisting getting this world sorted out. So they thought 
heaven would be able to assist. But then it ended up twisting around the absolute reverse effect. It happened so that, the human, that human beings here were assisting dimensional beings, actually. Because dimensional beings were fucked. Completely gone. Worse off than human beings here on Earth. The dimensions was in a more fucked up state than Earth. But yet they're exactly the same. So whatever is manifested here on Earth was manifested in Heaven in the exact same way. So, what are we busy doing here? Firstly, we're busy telling you what happened in Heaven over the past two years and before that. I'm laying down the foundation first. I'm laying down the foundation of how everything was. Okay? How everything was set up. How everything was constructed. What have human beings become? What exists within you? Why have you become what you become? Why do you do what you do? Simple. Um, why am I able to say everything about heaven in the first place? Because I've been there, I've done that, I've participated in it. Um, I've been observing. There are many of us um, who is able to come speak to you directly about what happened because we've been through it all. We've been there since the beginning. So, I'm not talking here from the perspective of, oh God, Jack is all this high and mighty man person thing. I'm not. I'm here speaking to you, expressing myself about what the hell is going on in your world. Why? Because people, you know, as well as I do, we need to sort it out. So you're probably asking, why is it I'm interested in being concerned about Earth and why am I so directly participating? Because you know what? I'm still here and I don't want to exist in a fucked up existence as what it is now. It's really bad. It's not pretty. It's not beautiful. I'm not enjoying myself. I'm not living. No one is living. What are we busy doing? We're busy sorting out everything. Trying to survive in this world. Trying to direct humanity. We're still not living. We're still, as we are expressing ourselves, living in terms of directing human beings. But God, is that really called life? No, there's, so, there's more to it than that. So, then now I'm explaining what is heaven, what is earth, how did everything come together, how did we get here? Simple. Why do we need to understand how do we get you? So we can never do what we've done to get here in the first place again. I mean, do you really want to sort everything out in one moment and then create everything that we've done again because we didn't understand how we created it in the first place? And then from there, how do we make sure we don't create it again? How do we support ourselves to make sure we don't create this fuck up again, both dimensionally and earth? What is the best way to do that? Do not have a dimensional existence, just exist here in this existence. We're always able to literally be in the manifestation of oneness and equality already. All we have to do within this manifestation now is realize it and live it. The basic simple principle of oneness and equality, which is each human being's responsibility to themselves, self-trust, which equals self-honesty, which equals self-trust, which equals self-expression, self-honesty. Self-honesty, self-trust, self-expression. Simple equation, forgiveness with practical application, base foundation. What is forgiveness with practical application? It's forgiving your thoughts, feelings and emotions of your mind consciousness system and not to allow them because they're not who you are. We're late. We've got the most basic answer in existence, human beings, the most basic. What is it that exists in all human beings? Thoughts, feelings, emotions. What do we say to do with them? Forgive them. Apply practical application. Self-honesty with self-trust. Self-expression. Just apply that. That's it. Why? To stop the mind. Because this reality is driven by mind consciousness systems. And that's what we're explaining. We're explaining to you the consequences of if you allow yourself to continue in mind consciousness systems, which are thoughts, feelings and emotions. Come on, please, everyone has thoughts, feelings, and emotions. There's one being that does not have that. And apparently those that don't merely are sitting again in the silence of their godliness going, I have transcended. I do not have to do anything. It doesn't work like that. If you've apparently transcended something, what do you do? You actively participate and, and direct other human beings who have not yet transcended at that point. That's how you do it. There's no sitting back saying, I am Godliness, and I am God Consciousness, and Jesus Consciousness, Christ Consciousness, whatever Consciousness, I shall now wait for everyone else. No, you directly participate. If you don't directly participate, and if you apparently don't send it, know that you are of God Consciousness, Jesus Consciousness, of Christ Consciousness. Again, a Consciousness system. Okay, 
So, this is Jack, thank you very much. Our basic principle, what we're doing here is one is an equality to have human beings stop their thoughts, feelings and emotions, apply forgiveness, corrective action, self-honesty, self-trust and self-expression. That's it. That's simple. Thank you very much. This is Jack.